actually gonna have you try out some cheer moves yourself. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Have you heard about the show Cheer? Oh, like on Netflix? Yes, I have. Cheers, yes, cheer, no. The series was released earlier this year on Netflix and it appears to become kind of like a worldwide phenomenon recently. So for this episode, we brought in some football players to kind of bring a different perspective on cheerleading since we've seen a lot of people online who don't really consider cheerleading to be a sport. Yeah. Even though it's quite physically demanding and a lot of them just assume that they're kind of meant to cheer on the football teams. I, I see where you're going, yeah. It's something that you train for to get better, but that don't make it a sport exactly. To get things started, we wanted to show you the trailer of this cheer series so you can understand it a little bit better. But we won't have you be watching it alone. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Sammy. <laughs> I'm Micah. I'm a cheerleader. I'm a football player. <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? What's up? How's it going? I'm good, man. What's up for you? How's it going? I'm Melissa, and I'm an all-star cheerleader. And what you said was wrong. Cheer is a sport. Uh oh. What Cheer is your name? Marcus. Woo! Let's go, Marcus! Woo! Yeah. I watched this, and you're gonna be blown away if you think that it's not a sport. They've won the grand yes. championship. Oh yes, times. it is. They could beat anybody. That's crazy. So fun fact is, some of these are uh, friends of mine. People from all over the country come here to cheer for Monica. My goal was to be the best cheer program in the country. We only compete once for two minutes and 15 seconds in Daytona. Daytona. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what is like a goal for all cheerleaders, like cheer teams, competition teams, to go out there and compete and, you know, essentially get bragging rights and credibility. We only compete once for two minutes and 15 seconds. How many minutes do y'all play in a football game? About an hour. Because the, the, like literally people don't realize that you get two minutes and 30 seconds on the mat. That's your entire career. We have kids that come from broken home or troubled past. I kind of lost myself. If I wouldn't have came here, I'd be sitting in a jail cell right now. I hold things in because I feel like I'll be judged sometimes. We're always judged and in cheer, like always. Good oh, Those are my kids. I'll fight tooth and nail for them. She knows how to. And that's when your coach literally becomes like your second mom. Oh. You work so hard. You're Never want to drop a girl. Home. No, my goodness. Or anybody. If you want to be one of the top teams at the competition, you have to step it up. Do what you are here to do. It's real like, dangerous to too. Behind what we're reaching for. <laughs> see. Yeah, you football players throw balls, we throw people. Whoever thought of chucking someone into the air and see how many times they can flip. That person is psychotic, but yeah, <laughs> I'm the crazy person that does it. She's a great flyer, has great technique, everything. Yo, this trailer made me self-conscious about my abilities. Hold up. I don't know, I'm kind of a lost for words that uh, uh, people take it this seriously. Cheer isn't just the pom-poms and just saying rah, rah, go team anymore. Like people don't realize the athleticism, like the hard work that goes into it. So I'm glad that they actually showed like how hard we work, like the actual stunts that we do. Yes, we do fall. Yes, we do get hurt. One of my friends invited me to practice and was like, hey, do you want to come to cheerleading practice? And I was like, nah, bro, that's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing full well that I like dudes, but it's fine, it's whatever. Okay. And I went and man, I found a world that embraced me and then, and. As a, as a person, but also challenged me as an athlete, and it's addicting because you never stop. So today, to see how difficult cheer actually is, and if it might be a sport or not, we're actually gonna have you try out some cheer moves yourself. <laughs> That's crazy. You so, want the pom-poms? I, uh, I don't know if I want them now. <laughs> California. Yeah. This is this is the gym, I, and this is dude. This is me. Nobody told me I was gonna be in this. This is my routine in 2013, dude. Oh my god, that's nuts. I'm literally right here in the front row. So good. I wish my jumps looked like that. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow, a lot of jumping, a lot of jumping there. Okay, so are you guys 
ready to teach and try some cheer out today? Yes. Let's get it. I should have stretched before I came here today, <laughs> I know that. I'll just simply say I'll do what I can. I think a lot of guys have the strength to do it. It's just the technique, and I feel there like you, you, can, you can learn it. That's, that's, that's a really good saying, because a lot of people think it's just about being stupid strong, and it's not, you know, it's also a lot about a lot of good technique. Let's just start with a T-jump. That's like your basic... T-jump. Okay, all right. Okay, so one, two, three, three four, four, five, jump, six. Oh, no, so, the legs stay in. Yes. When you clap, make sure that you're, like, everything is in. You don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. In tight. Okay? okay. So you're going to bring your that feet up really to here. Hold up. Yeah, you're going to bring your feet up to here, but you're going to bring both of them up at the same time. So when okay. you jump off the ground, you'll bring them up to that position, and then you'll land with your hands just below your knees. So you'll basically end up hitting this position mid-air. Make sense? Um, this is the simplest thing you can teach me? The simplest one. All right. Clap one, two, up, three, four, five, jump, six. Good job. Five, six, seven, eight, one, out, two, down, three, four, cut. Hey! There it is. We don't have to jump too much guys. Come on. There it is. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, I hit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't clean. Oh I didn't clean. My God. But I hit the thing. I hit it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woohoo! That wasn't Go that team. bad. Go team! That wasn't that bad. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Three, four, wham. Wow. Yeah, you I'm see shook. That? I'm yeah. shook. I'm shook. So next up, we are going to show some stunt clips. Okay. Don't worry, you will not be stunting here today, but a major part of being one of the top girls in cheerleading is flexibility and being able to hit those kind of poses at the top of the pyramid. One, two, three, five. Yeah, this is Top Gun. I, I cheered for them when I was in Miami. <laughs> yes. Their best. That looks like the white world of sports. Yes. She felt that. That ain't me. Oh no. You gonna pick me up like that? Sure. Yeah, switch girl. Yes! Get that switch. Beauty. It's always fun to see like like fully grown adults stunt with children. She is a beast, and she's probably like five years like, old. Right. She's so young. She's so small. <laughs> and technique. This girl practically invented it now. <laughs> she's so good. That takes, you know, day to day flexibility, stretching, courage. That's crazy. If you got two or three guys down there, like, I feel like it's not. That's a good observation. That's crazy. But think of it like this. A lot of the times, the cheer isn't very guy heavy. So a lot of the bases are going to be uh, women doing this, which is what makes cheer amazing. Because sometimes you, you go out there and you see frail girls throwing things that even I can't throw. And it's just like, wow, like they work yeah. harder than any athlete I've ever met. So if you stand here and you pick up your left foot, you want to put the arch of your foot by your knee right here. And you want to lift your knee up as high as possible. Hold a, hold a glass of water right here but tuck that foot in. Don't bend down to get your foot. Your foot is gonna come up to you. <laughs> yeah. You just kick it up. <laughs> just so simple, huh? Just kick it up. Okay. We're probably at the same level. Probably, okay. All right. He got good. it, he got it. Oh. There it is, hold on. Hi-V. You feel me? Good. That's as high as it's gonna go. <laughs> yes! So close, yeah! Wait, I can do that too. Yay! Yeah, now that, we're matching. That's easy. You got yes. it. No, I believe in you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Wow, wow, okay. Hold up. Hold up. I love, oh, yes! Oh, and the leg was straightened up. We, we flexed the foot, but that's all right, Jesus. Okay, we made it work. So for our last round, we're actually gonna have you guys learn a short cheer routine together from one of the most popular cheer movies of all time. Oh, oh. is it Bring It On? Yep. Bring, bring It On? Bring It On. Which one, one, two, or three? Oh, he knows. Just Bring It Clovers. On. I got sisters, I've seen this. Yeah. Hey, the club. Oh, yes, Gabby. Yes. <laughs> It's cold in here. Do you know it? It's cold in here. There must be some in the 
Slow it down. <laughs> oh, I love this movie. A lot of people think Cheer is just bring it on, which is great that Cheer on Netflix came out because now you get a little bit more insight. I've watched that one. See, there you go. I've watched that one. Even the muggles like it. We got this. Let's get it. I'm just going to like copy off of you the whole time. All right, ready? All right. Five, six, seven, eight. Burr. It's cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. I said burr. It's cold, cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. Slow it down. Oh, we oh, we Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Our game day cheers are not quite like that. <laughs> I'm in and out for real. I'm hungry now. I'm a workable appetite. So now that you have tried out some moves yourself, Micah, uh -huh. how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great. <laughs> Best believe next sign up for cheer, I'm going to be at the top of the list. I definitely wouldn't uh, do it for fun or as a sport, but. But it is a sport, you know, just throwing that out there. Yeah, athleticism behind it, it's definitely to not be undermined. It takes a team effort. There are no individuals in cheerleading. You all have to be in sync. A little less confident than I was when I walked in. Oh. But you know what? I appreciate my partner here because he definitely helped me and gave me, you know, the support I needed. So, <laughs> We're supportive. Guy. That's what cheerleaders yeah. are for. Finally, to end this episode, what do you guys want to say to those out there that might not think that cheerleading is a sport now that you've tried it yourself? Oh, it's a sport. That was probably one of the harder things I've ever had to try as far as physical activity. People should take it a little bit more seriously because people are really passionate about it, you know, just the same way as they're passionate about football or, you know, soccer or anything like that. You try to be flexible and then still got to maintain your conditioning, your stamina. It's a lot of commitment. At the end of the day, I still feel like it's you feel me? It's, it's not a sport. They they some high intensity, high level athletes. And it's a profession for sure too. Traditionally, it is true that it wasn't a sport. And the traditional style of cheerleading is non-competitive and is strictly supportive to our teams. And then it evolved into competitive all-star cheerleading. And some people aren't quite caught up on that world. So I don't really take too much offense to it now because the Olympic Union has now like deemed us a sport so everybody else can kick rocks. Thank you so much for watching this episode. What show should we react to next? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Bye guys. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this and hit the notification bell so you get to know whenever we upload a new video. Bye.